Hello everyone, I'm Eloy from Knowledge Shining Tech. In this video, I want to show you how you can wirelessly mirror your Windows screen and the audio of your Windows PC to your Roku TV. I'm going to show you what you need to do on your Roku TV and then I'm going to show you how you can do this on your Windows PC. So let me start first by the Roku TV. So first turn on your Roku TV and go to settings and under settings go to system and under system go to screen mirroring and go to the right and make sure that either prompt or always allow are selected. I advise you to put it on prompt so that not anyone can broadcast to your TV without your permission. So here I'm going to put it on prompt and then go back and go to the home screen and your Roku TV should be turned on so that you can mirror to it. So now I'm going to show you what you need to do on your Windows PC. On the Windows PC, you need to go to the display menu under settings. You have a shortcut to do this, so you can press Windows K to do this, or also you can go through the settings screen. So here I'm going to open settings. So Windows I, it will open settings. And in the settings, under system, click on display. And here scroll until you find something called multiple displays. Click the drop down arrow. And then here we have something called connect to a wireless display. Click on connect. And now Windows will go and discover all the wireless displays around you. So here my TV is called My TV. So I'm going to click on Connect. And when you click on Connect, it will tell you Connecting. And on the TV, you will receive a prompt saying, do you want to allow your PC to connect? So if you choose Always Allow, it will not prompt you again. So here I'm going to choose Allow only. And then I'm going to select it. And you're going to see now that the display will be mirrored on my TV. And you notice here that it is extended. So now I'm going to show you how you can extend it or duplicate it. To do this, you need to press the Windows key plus the K on the keyboard. And then here you have duplicate, extend, or your TV only. I'm going to click on duplicate. So now what you see on your PC, you will see on the TV. So now I'm going to show you, if I play a video, how it will also play the sound on the TV. So this is one of my videos. My passion for technology led and you see now the sound is coming from my TV. One thing I wanted to mention here is that the mouse will lag a little bit. So there's a small delay between when you click on something and when it displays. I'm going to show you now how to disconnect your PC from the TV. And I'm going to show you what happens if you choose Always Allow and how to remove it in case you change your mind. So to disconnect it, you need to press the Windows key plus the K key on your keyboard. And then here, click on disconnect. And now it will be disconnected. So when it disconnects, the TV stays like on the last screen that it displayed. All you have to do here is go to home screen. So now I want to show you what happens when I choose always allow. So let's click on my TV once again. And this time I'm going to choose always allow. And now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to disconnect the PC from the TV and I'm going to show you how it will connect automatically without prompting the next time. So Windows OK and then here click on disconnect and now it disconnected. So what happens if I click on my TV now? It will connect without prompting me again. So I clicked on my TV to connect now and you're going to notice that it connected without prompting me. Now, if you want to remove this PC from the Always Allow so that it will prompt you again, here's what you need to do. Go to your home screen on your Roku TV and then go to Settings. Under Settings, go to System. Under System, go to Screen Mirroring. And here, go to Screen Mirroring Devices. And you see this is my PC. And simply select it and then choose Remove Device from List. And now it will prompt me again if I want to connect to my Roku TV. Please let me know in the comments below your experience in mirroring your Windows PC to your Roku TV wirelessly. I hope that my video will help you in connecting your Windows PC to your Roku TV. In case you like this video, please share it, subscribe to my channel, and give this video a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it, and this will help my channel greatly. And this way, you'll not miss my future videos. I want to thank you all for watching. See you in the next video.